good day everybody it's lonely go one two three five eight peace long time no see thank you for joining me today I appreciate it very 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 much we're here long time no see <laughs> so excited i get very excited right before i like every time before i hit record i get really excited inside i'm like ah long time no see about two or three weeks now Spent the last couple of weeks learning how to use Google Earth a lot better, uh, the fly-by-fly -fly action, and GIMP, and Photoshop. Very, very, it takes a lot of time to learn these things. Oh my lord, I was like, all right, I'll just do it. No problem. Make better videos and thumbnails, just like that. No problem. Uh-uh. Fuck, just for one feature. It took me three days. Because, like, you guys know I'm computer illiterate. I'm not that great with computers. And then to learn software, or <laughs> GIMP and Photoshop have so many buttons and options and things I've just never heard of. So, my brain is fried. <laughs> I had to, I'm had i taking a break from that. I've managed to learn enough to make a decent thumbnail and make a cool YouTube video using the Google Earth features. So, that's what I've been doing. I've also came across huge mandalas concerning our geography on this planet. It's not just, oh, Cuba moved a couple feet. Cuba's got a big butt now. Um, it's more like, shit. What the fuck is that? And then you look, you're like, whoa. I remember when I came across what I came across three weeks ago, it was almost identical to coming across the Mandela itself again. What I came across is my biggest find, my biggest find by far. Um, this is not clickbait, okay? I don't do clickbait. I never have, I never will, okay? Actually, I did one, so no one is D's name. <laughs> What's up, homeboy? And he knows what I'm talking about. I shared, so I've got about 15 things. I shared one thing with Nobleness D three weeks ago. I pulled him on Hangouts. I'm like, I had to bounce it off someone. I'm like, am I seeing this correctly? And he agreed. He's like, yeah, that's fucked up. He's like, that's an oxymoron. I was like, thanks. I was looking for that name. I was like, that's exactly what I thought too. More on that very shortly, but I've got this new series coming out. It's called New Earth. Okay. When I came across this Mandela, it was like the fingerprint of a god. I'd seen, it's almost like the creator's like, this is how I did it. But only those who can think outside the box and are willing to think outside the box will believe it. Most of you will think it's this or that, but it's really the other thing. <laughs> and I saw the other thing and I'm like, what? Are you? And I stared at it and I was like, what are you? I had my finger, I was scrolling, I'm like, are you serious? Are you fuck? I was like, in and out, I was like, what? Called up Nobleness D, got him on Hangouts for an hour, we talked. So I showed him one thing, I had about 15 things, just with New Earth. And then I've got to jump into another series I'm making, which is called Ancient Civilization. I'm going to tie in the Mandela Effect with them, okay? With them. Well, it's because it's a bunch of, uh, uh, oh my god, a brain fire here. Civilizations. I'm trying to use a different word. Anyway, I've been very busy. Here's the other thing that I've been doing as well. My native culture has been mandela Okay, I don't know too much about my native culture. And when I'm making this other new series, so we got New Earth. Human civilization, and then I've got my cultures, Native Americans. I got like a whole series on that that I've got already going in my head spinning because I found a Native American who's just totally Mandela. I don't even know when to make this video. Just is so much, blah. And I I turn on YouTube all the time, and it just seems so stale out there in the Mandela world. But I'm like, how could this be? I see a lot happening. I see so much. I don't look in the... I'm not in the entertainment business. That's probably why I don't look for, like, movie lines or actors or characters or movie. You know, I don't look for that stuff. You know, I'm 
I'm not looking at logos. I'm looking at Earth. Very, there's like one or two people looking at Earth beside me, you know, so. It's very weird, very weird how it's so stale. It seems very stale, right? The last two or three weeks. <laughs> Sorry, there's a bump in my head. I'm trying to get rid of it. That's why I keep playing with my hair. It's not going away. Bother me. All right, so we talked about that, that. Now, I just quickly want to talk about this comment I got. It's about the fourth time I've gotten this comment, and I know this comment isn't a product of my videos, because, again, I've only gotten this comment four times, okay? Lone Eagle, why are you so happy, and why are others so jarred or feel negative from your videos? Well, I'm so happy because I found the Mandela. Before the Mandela hit, I was, like, not sold on our creator or life being after death. The Mandela hit, I'm fucking gone. A hundred billion percent sold on there being a creator or something. That alone. Okay, that's just in a nutshell. I could take the, that convo right there and make it 20 minutes long, but I'm not. That's for another video. Another series, too. Coming across the Mandela Effect took so much fear out of my life. Um, I did not, I did not grow up with a structure, meaning like I didn't grow up with a religious belief. So it's probably, it was probably a lot easier for me to let go of whatever it is I was believing in, which was fuck all and just accepting that, yes, there's a creator, thank you, there's a creator. I no longer have to think about these things in my head because my mind is always like, it's just too smart for its own good sometimes. It just does these things, it loops, it goes, yeah, but what if, what if, what if? And for good reasons too, because these what ifs are actually great battles on YouTube now, like creation versus evolution. My mind was thinking that shit when I was like 13. I saw a Tombstone, the movie, when I was 15 or 16. That movie alone, you know the scene where Wyatt's brother gets shot and he dies on the pool table? He's like, Wyatt, you know that light at the end of the tunnel? I don't see it. I saw that, I saw that when I was like 15. That scared the shit out of me, that scene. Made me an atheist for years and always put that, it implanted that seed. That scene alone made that I, I, you know before Mandela hit I was 95 percent sure there was a there was a creator that five percent came from that fucking movie <laughs> hey but when Mandela hit that five percent I fucking oh no get the fuck out of here get out of here <laughs> so I find it next to impossible to get a Mandela effect and find some type of fear. I find it impossible because I was not tied to anything that tied me to this world when Mandela hit, except for fear itself. I was tied to fear. But because I was like, oh my God, there's a creator. I could let go of all these things that, oh, I'm gonna lay in a coffin for the rest of my life like this and that's it for eternity. Like, and you know how long eternity is? When someone, who's in touch with life like so deep, like I feel like I am, has those thoughts and gets locked in the loop of the thought process, it can be fucking detrimental to their living. And it was throughout my whole 20s. So when Mandela hit and then I took that 5% and I said, get the hell out of here. I felt like a little, here. So it's like a little bird in a nest, right? I'm a little eagle bird. I'm like, wah, 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 wah. all I'm doing is consuming things. And I'm looking around. I'm seeing these giant walls. I'm like, what's going on? And my mom keeps putting food in my mouth. I'm consuming. That's all I'm doing. I'm getting covered. I'm in the dark all the time. That's my life. That was my life up until Mandela hit. And then I'm looking around, and, and periodically I would see an angel. I would see a bird fly, and I'm like, oh. But I have no idea what's going on. I don't know that I'm supposed to do this. I'm just like, whoa, what was that flying? And I look down, and I see my dad, I see my mom fly. I'm like, oh, they're flying too, they're angels. 
Then one day, I'm sitting there in the dark, and my mom gets up, flies, and it's just me sitting there all alone, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna look over the edge, see what's over there. I climb up, I look over, and I'm like, whoa! There's a whole new, and then boom, I got pushed over. That was the Mandela hitting us. I was flapping for a week after the Mandela hit me that June or July or whatever, two years ago. I was online going, whoa, <laughs> the fuck is Greenland doing? What is Slavabard? What is Slavabard? <laughs> and then after that week, I went, whoo. And then I hit the chest and I flew up high. And I went, nah, I know what I'm supposed to do. That's what that felt like. Ever since then, I've been flying high, as high as I can. And then as I was just flying, I noticed a lot of people were in pain. They were seeing a lot of this negative shit coming from Mandela's. I'm like, well, how do you do that? How'd you do that? But, and then I realized that we're not all the same. Then I realized how arrogant I was, ignorant. Yeah. I got a life lesson. And then I made the channel, and then I'm like, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. That's why I'm so happy when it comes to Mandela's, okay? Because that 5% is fucking gone. That's why, okay? Why are you sad when you leave my video? It's probably because there's something, well, I don't like pointing fingers, but it's coming from your end. I don't wanna say that at all because I'm not there to be like, let's talk about it. Cause I never wanna be like, oh, because if I'm support, like, this is my life, if, if I'm going to approach my friend, I'm like, hey, dude, you're being a real fucking dick with that person. You need, you know, I'm able to talk with them and be like, this is what we need to do to fix this problem. Or if someone comes to me and says, hey, dude, you know, well, you know, you got to apologize. I'm like, okay, we could do this, but I can't do that with you. So I don't want to sit there and be like, it's you on your end and then just leave it there. So find a teacher. Go find someone to talk to about these things. And I don't want to sit there and tell you it's you, so I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> if you're feeling jarred from my videos, or if you're feeling feared from my videos, um, take a look at all the comments in my videos. You'll notice that majority of them are like people who are curious, who are at awe, who are joyful, who are grateful. And you'll find people disagreeing with me, but they do it in a respectful way. Those that don't get deleted, you get deleted. I look at there's so many people who disagree with me, but they don't disrespect me. They just disagree, so they get to stay. Hint, hint. <clears throat> so that's why I'm so happy. That's why you might be feeling jarred, and that's what I've been doing for the last couple weeks. Okay, making videos to uh, better, except for this one because um, this is just on the spot. Oh, I gotta talk about this. The Sphinx. Hey, let's get into the Sphinx, ladies and gentlemen. How do you spell it? Spell the Sphinx. Spell it. Spell it. Google it. But before you do, Google, use your brain. Use your use your intuition. Use your metability. Think. How is the Sphinx? The Sphinx. The Great Sphinx. You know, the cat, the dog sitting in front, of, <laughs> sitting in front of the pyramids. How do we spell that bad boy? Hmm. Old world. It's S P H Y N X. How do you spell it now? <laughs> well, now it's spelled S P H I N X. I just came across this this morning. Actually, it was Foon sped to me this morning. Thank you very much. And. I mean, here, I'm going to cut to OBS now. Oh, it's uh, the recording computer program that I use to record my videos. So I'm going to get rid of this face here. Because I don't want to take the time to fucking set up the fucking monitor and this shit at the same time. So I'll just say goodbye to now. Goodbye to now. <laughs> it's late. 
I'll just say goodbye right now uh, to you and I'm going to jump on the OBS. We're going to look at some pictures of some cats and the Great Sphinx and stuff like that. So thank you very much. Stay tuned and I miss you guys so very much. I really do. I miss the comments. I miss uploading. I miss getting all the little tags ready. I miss that shit. I miss it. I miss talking to you guys. I miss getting excited to make videos. So stay tuned. More coming very shortly. Let's jump over to the OBS. Good day, everybody. All right, we're on the OBS. We're on Google Earth. Let's get this party started. Actually, I didn't even need Google Earth. What am I doing here? I'm just so like, oh, okay, it's just natural. I didn't need it, but let's go to um, the Sphinx anyway. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> sorry, I just had a sugary drink. My throat is all sticky and gooey. It's going to sound disgusting. My apologies. Now, when you look here, the great, oh, look. See, look at that right there. Do you see that? If I move my mouse... It's going to disappear, but look at the heading underneath. It says Great Pyramid of Giza, Sphinx with a Y, Temple. See that? Boom. See that? Boom. Okay. I encourage you to come here and <clears throat> look, another Y. You could come here and check this out yourself. Look, another Y. Look at all these Ys, you know? Why are all these, <laughs> why are all these people spelling it with an Y and an I? Now we can. Now this is the this is the thing with the Mandelas. It's just a grammar area. Well, I was gonna swear some more. I've done enough swearing, but yeah, I'm seeing a lot of I's and a lot of Y's. I'm seeing both. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I probably should see more I's now. I don't know if you guys can see these numbers popping out. These. The, the fonts and text popping up. I hope you can. If not, well, like I said, Google Earth is there. It's free. Turn on images. But a lot of these are I. Majority of them are eyes now, but some of them are wise. All right. <clears throat> so, here, let me mute this for a sec. There, that was pretty disgusting. <laughs> One shot this, I will not edit it with an eye look. I mean, I don't know how to go about this. I've always spelt the Sphinx with a Y. Always. Always. I was asked this question this morning. How do you spell this name? And I, I was just like, Y with a Y. And I kind of knew where this was going. I knew immediately. You know? So, what's going on? I've got a really good theory. And I'm sharing that in my new series, Ancient Civilizations. This was totally unexpected. This just happened this morning. When did this Mandela happen? Probably last night or the night before. Uh, and uh, and pff, here, let me show you something. Let me show you something here. Because I've been making a lot of videos. Here, let me bring this over here. I've uh, been playing with GIMP a lot. So with GIMP, you need photos, right? You need to have photos. You need all kinds of textures and layers and all that other stuff. What was I doing here? Um, hold on here. Let me open GIMP. That'll be easier. <clears throat> Sorry about this. I just It's a Mandela. It's going to lead to a Mandela. So I'm like, let's open a layer. Now I went under recent, and this is where I found it. See right here, the first one. I downloaded this and it said it downloaded as Sphinx with a Y. Okay. But that's not what I wanted to show you. It's that I had taken a picture earlier a couple days ago of the Sphinx and I wrote down and I know I could just easily change the text in here and just write down what I want, but it's time stamped. So I like to, Oh man, where did it go? I don't have time for that stuff. Where are you? Oh, I know where it is. I moved it. That's right. Oh, I clicked too fast. G. 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 Net. Sorry, guys. I'll just take one second. <clears throat> oh, here we go. See? There it is. I typed it in. 
Now, do I expect you guys to fully believe me? No. But look right here. I downloaded this. Here, I'll just open this. Oh, I can't. See, I downloaded this one right here today. I'm probably using this as the thumbnail. I don't know yet. But it's spelled with an I. Because I downloaded it from the Google Images today. From, you know, Google Images. And then I went... And then the other day I downloaded... Actually, no, I took a picture of the Sphinx on Google Earth because I was going to use it for my ancient civilizations video. And I spelt it with a Y. Look, right here. There's no date on it. It says Saturday. So that was last Saturday. You know, I was going to use this. I'm not going to use it anymore. I found a different picture. But I spelt it with a Y then. Why? Because that's how you spelt it back in the old days. Where I'm from, we used to spell the Sphinx with a Y. That's why. <clears throat> now I have a really cool theory as to why that is. But I can't say it right now because it's going to... It's going to really mess up my episode of the pyramids and the sphinx that's why so stay tuned for that but it's not gonna be long it's gonna be a week a week and a half so i urge you guys because i haven't made the videos yet i'm about to if you find something please hook me up i will add it to the video yes i will i will add it to the series so here's another thing i wanted to share with you guys <clears throat> Good evening, Loneal. Good evening to you. Now watch this. This is my favorite part. The Sphinx. I'm going to spell it with an X. Cat. Look at this. Now why would they name this cat with a Y? Because it's totally spelt with a Y. It's not spelt with an I. Why would they use a Y? If in this timeline it's spelled with an I, why would they even change it to a Y? I mean, he looks different. I mean, I know cats they all look different, but he's got big ears. Really big ears. His eyes are disproportioned to his head, like for a cat. Did someone tattoo a cat? Holy fuck. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I, that's, I shouldn't have gone there. I don't even go there. Fuck. <laughs> I can't believe someone tattooed a cat. Oh, my lord. Oh, someone sent me a message. All right, guys. So, I mean, what's up with what's up with this cat? I mean, it, I'm not gonna be like, oh, look, it's even disproportioned everywhere because I've known cats to just. I mean, it's just like everything else in this world, right? Same species, but they all look a little different. Yo, look at the balls on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, I did a little bit of reading on these guys, right? They're hard to breed. They're a very rare cat, okay? Um, they, they, You can stick a male and a female in a room. They won't do it. They just won't re uh, reproduce, you know? And when they do, the litters, they don't survive. For some reason, this cat is having a hard time surviving in this timeline, for lack of better terms timeline this reminds me of the hairless cat now here's my th here's the thing let me look up the hairless cat because <clears throat> i don't want to get this twisted again it's the sphinx that's so weird so this whole time i've been alive has the hairless cat been a sphinx the, the Sphinx cat. God damn. <clears throat> Whew. 
Wah! Oh, are you kidding me? What? Anyway, I mean, that's a cat with no hair, right? I bet all the cats would look. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I did some. Oh, that's all cool fucking looking. I'm sorry for swearing, guys. That's a cool cat. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Anyway, so I did some research on this cat. Not enough, though, to, like, you know, because, like, really, aw. These cats act like dogs. Maybe one of you out there have one? Look how, wow. I've never, wow. Are you kidding me? Ugh, whatever. I forget what I was going to say. Sorry. All right. So here's the thing. These cats are like dogs. Okay. Um, they will come to you like a dog. They will, when you come home, they'll run around your feet like a dog. They'll run to you like a dog. Here. Let me. The Sphinx cat. See, when I type up the Sphinx, well, it doesn't even matter because I'm just going to say it's a misspelling. Let's look at some videos here. I mean, I'm not saying the cat is a Mandela. I'm just saying, isn't it funny that they call it the Sphinx with a Y? Anyway, I'm not going to play any videos. I really don't know what else to say about this. Okay. Um, I love you guys so very much. Let me know what you think on this. For me, definitely uh, the the Great Sphinx, you know, the one in Egypt, was spelt with a Y. All right, video is long enough. Thank you very much. That was a 25, 30 minute video. Great to be back. I back. I will always say that. I back, and I will always take a week or two off break. I back, and it's great to be back. I'm rejuvenated. I'm energized once again. I got a lot of videos coming. A lot. It's endless. It's endless. It'll never stop. Okay. Anatomy. Another one coming up. Huge. Huge things of change with the body. Guys. Listen. Be positive. And I'm going to end with this. Besides, love your neighbor, love yourself, and I love you. I'm going to end with this. Every decision you make from now on, every choice, and I mean every single one, everyone, do your best. Do your ultimate best. And... You know, train yourself to do this, okay? With every decision that you have to make from here on out and every choice, choose with love, okay? Choose with love. Be curious. When, I, when you come to my video, be curious. When I show you some things, be like, ooh, that's cool. Be like, whoa. All right. <clears throat> I love you guys so very much. And I'll see you next week. <laughs> I just have so much I want to say. <laughs> All right. Be kind. Rewind. Love yourself. Love your neighbor. And I love you. Stay tuned for more coming Monday and live streams Tuesdays and Thursdays. Lone Eagle, 112358. Peace.